Hello everyone, welcome back to YK Reviews. Welcome back to another weekly entertainment news video as we discuss the heartbreaking news when it comes to the Coyote vs. Acme movie, another update when it comes to the Jurassic World movie. We got some good news when it comes to the TMNT sequel, plus the first look at Superman's logo, so let's dive right into it. <laughs> Okay, so before we dive into all the movie news here, if you are new to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button as we do these weekly entertainment news videos every single week where we talk about movie news, TV news, sometimes video games and Lego news. So if you into all that kind of stuff, do consider hitting that subscribe button and also do movie reviews. I've just done my movie review for Dune part one and Dune part two, along with a spoiler review. So if you've seen the movie, you can check out the spoiler videos. If not, then you can check out my non-spoiler review for the Dune movies. It's over there on the channel. And if you do like this type of video, do consider hitting that like button sharing the video hitting that notification bell all that youtube stuff when it comes to these types of videos timestamps are in the description down below you can go ahead check out anything that's more interested for you anything that you want to learn more about timestamps are always going to be in the description down below but let's start off with the first movie news or first trailer i want to talk about here and i'll be completely honest with you i'm going to try so hard not to lose it because we have got the official trailer to the chicken nugget show i talked about it a couple of weeks ago where it's basically about her father and a boyfriend where the girl has turned into a chicken nugget and I shit you not this trailer looks as good as how the plot sounds like there's even one point where you just see a giant chicken nugget head sitting down and I'm telling you I watched the trailer I didn't know what the hell I watched but I was into it this is coming out on March 15th so I 100% guarantee you there is going to be a review for this but it just legitimately looks batshit crazy and so out there i would not normally go into this type of show but it, it just looks so ridiculous that i'm all into it so i urge you if you haven't seen the trailer please go check out the trailer you'll come out of that trailer thinking what the hell did i just watch but I guarantee you, there might be some of you that will be a little bit persuaded to be checking out this project. So please let me know if you've seen the trailer, what your thoughts are on it. Do you think it looks interesting? Will you be checking it out? Let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, so for the next news story, we've got some heartbreaking update when it comes to the Coyote vs. Acme movie. And Will Forty came out releasing a statement, basically just confirming that the, unlikely the film will be getting released here. His statement basically goes here and I apologize that it's going to be a kind of a wordy section here but he's basically come out and saying to the cast and crew of the Coyote vs Acme movie I know a lot of you haven't gotten a chance to see our movie and sadly it's looking like you never will when I first heard that our movie was getting deleted I hadn't seen it yet so I was thinking what everyone else must be thinking this must be a hunk of junk but then I saw it and it's incredible and he continued here super funny throughout visually stunning sweet sincere and emotionally resonant in a very earned way as the credits roll I just sat there thinking how lucky I was to be a part of something so special that quickly turned to confusion and frustration this movie they're not going to release look when it comes to Hollywood business stuff I don't know shit about shit even when a movie tests very well like ours there's no guarantee that it's going to be a hit and at the end of the day the people who pay for this movie can obviously do whatever they want with it it doesn't mean I have to like it and I fucking hate it or agree with it and it doesn't mean that this movie is anything less than magnificent you would be so proud of it a movie that should have been seen but won't please know that all the years and years of hard work dedication and love that put into this movie shows in every frame that's all folks will forte and honestly after just reading that like my heart broke and i'm gonna say this again david zaslev fuck you you cock sucking piece of shit and i'm not gonna bleep it out this time because he really has ruined movies like first bad girl now this it's and even by the, like people that have seen it like the very very few people that have seen it confirm how amazing this movie is and it's a movie that i genuinely don't understand how they don't want to release it or don't even want other studios to pay for it and again like i'm not going to go on a full rant or anything like that i've done that enough but it's just so heartbreaking when you even see the emotion from will forte how incredible he's saying the movie looks this really could have made so much money and obviously the stoop like Warner Brothers that piece of shit David Zaslev does not want to sell it because he knows that if he does and it's going to make tons of money how shit it's going to look on his end so 
I'm so gutted that this movie most likely isn't going to be released. It's going to be never seen again. And it's just such a shame because from the premise, from the, the small little screenshots we have seen, it looks like it's such an amazing movie with some emotional high stakes and some great story arcs going on with it. I just honestly reading that really just broke my heart especially because you can feel in his words how sad and guided he is that this movie is not going to be released when it comes to like this movie and just this roller coaster of emotions this roller coaster of a journey that we're going through with this i do think that this kind of cements it that it is not going to be released i don't see it being released there's been hashtags going on i've been joining the hashtag when it comes to releasing this movie but i i really don't think we are going to be seeing it and it's such a shame and so heartbreaking that we're not going to be seeing it here so based on like this statement and like your thoughts and everything please let me know down in the comment section below how gutted are you do you think that there is some slight glimmer of hope please let me know in the comment section below now speaking of bidding wars with our next news story we have got a small update when it comes to the bob the builder movie yes they are making a bob the builder movie so actually we are getting a bidding war with that movie so jennifer lopez and anthony ramos bob the builder movie is in a bidding war with netflix amazon and dreamworks all interested the film is following roberto aka bob who travels to puerto rico for a major construction job and digs deeper into what it means to build now for you younger audience who may not have heard about this Growing up as a kid, I remember in the school they would always play Bob the Builder, especially when it's like raining and we weren't allowed to go play outside. They'd play Bob the Builder. The song is so iconic too. And honestly, I tried to put it on for my son like maybe a week ago or so. And just the animation style looks so different to how it was when I was growing up. And so I... I was never expecting a Bob the Builder movie, but it looks like we are getting it here and there's actually a bidding war going on with it. Truthfully, I see DreamWorks most likely winning this compared to Netflix and Amazon, but we are getting this movie. And what's very interesting too is that Jennifer Lopez's company is actually gonna be the one producing this movie. So something I never thought we'd be seeing, something I never thought we'd be talking about, but yeah, there's a bidding war going on for Bob the Builder. So you see this and you hear this, what are your thoughts? Would you be checking out this movie? Who do you think, which studio should be winning this bidding war? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, now for the next news story, we kind of got like a small update when it comes to the FNAF movie and the sequel here. So this is coming from Daniel RPK. So you can take this with a grain of so he is a reliable scooper who has actually been getting a lot of stuff right recently but he's apparently reporting here that Blumhouse is reportedly listening to the, the film's criticism and Five Nights at Freddy 2 will focus more on the horror aspect. Now I've yet to check out the Five Nights at Freddy but it's a movie I definitely need to be checking out but I have seen a lot of criticisms when it comes to the lore focusing in on the main character like Josh Hutchinson's character and like his backstory and not really focusing on that the animatronic side of things here and that most general audiences weren't really fans of the movie but again I've yet to check out the movie however I know that that has been like some certain criticisms of the movie itself I guess I can't really comment in terms of like what I'm expecting because I haven't seen part one yet but I know there have been some people that I just recently did a live stream on Jason Entertainment's channel you can go check out his channel that we talked about a little bit briefly of Five Nights at Freddy and that they were expecting a slightly more as well when it comes to the horror side of things here so hopefully that is the case then because I would have expected more animatronics more of that kind of horror element to it rather than focusing on the characters like backstory and like their medical history and that kind of stuff there but they are definitely working on a part two so there has been updates when it comes to that we did talk about it maybe like a month ago or something like that when it comes to like them working on it and that there is going to be a part two so you see this and you hear this if you have seen the first movie and now you hear that they are going to focus on the more horror side of things here what are your thoughts are you excited about that are you happy about that let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and speaking of sequels we got an update when it comes to the moana 2 movie now this is the animated movie not the live action movie here so coming from the deadline confirming here that moana 2 alil Carvalho, and apologies if i butchered that name here is definitely returning to the disney sequel so she's coming back to reprise the voice of moana in moana 2 we last heard that she was in talks however it's clear that she was 
bound to reteam with Dwayne Johnson, who's clearly coming back as a demigod Maui. Now, if you weren't aware, this was originally going to be a Disney Plus series that they've changed now into a movie. So there is going to be a live action movie with The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, going to be starring as Maui but she has confirmed that she's not going to be starring as Moana but with this one as like the voice casting here I think it makes more sense for her to return play Moana in the animated movie with the sequel here. I mentioned this when this was announced here that I am actually looking forward to Moana 2. I'm a huge fan of the first movie. I think that is actually one of the better Disney movies that they have done recently in the last like 10 years, I would say. But my only concern was that this originally was going to be a Disney Plus series and that now it's going to be turning into a movie. That's my only concern in terms of the storyline here. But you see this and you hear this. She's coming back to voice Moana 2. Are you happy about that? Are you glad about that? What your excitement level is for Moana 2? Let me know in the comment section below. And for the the next news story we've got another update when it comes to the Jurassic World. I think this is a fourth week or the fifth week in a row now that we have got the Jurassic World or Jurassic movie up update here. So if you weren't keeping up to date, so originally we found out that they're going to make another Jurassic World movie. Then David Lynch was going to be directing, but then he left the project. Then we got Gareth Edwards confirming it to be the director. Now this again is coming from Daniel RPK, so you can take this with a grain of salt, but it looks like Gareth Edwards' Jurassic Park film is tentatively entitled Jurassic City. City. So you're going to go from Jurassic Park to Jurassic World to now looks like Jurassic City with filming set to begin in July of this year, which like I mentioned before, they are rushing this to have it come out in July of next year. So Fantastic Four, Superman Legacy and, and Jurassic City all coming out within that same month. Now in terms of the name itself, honestly it doesn't really blow me away. I'm not over the moon or overly excited with the movie because of this, like I mentioned, I've yet to check out Jurassic World Dominion just because I've heard so much bad things about it and I'm just not really in any rush to be checking it out. But with this one, Jurassic City, honestly, it kind of just sounds like Sim City, like the video game Sims. So the title just doesn't really scream Jurassic Park or from the Jurassic World franchise itself. And honestly, based on this, I can just only imagine in terms of the storyline, what they're going to be going for is that the dinosaurs are all placed into like one city and it's just shits going down and all hell breaks loose. I really don't know what kind of plot they could be going for. Like I said, I feel like they are going for like a more action type of movie just because of David Leach was the one that was said to be directing this here. Now with Gareth Edwards, again, he's behind Godzilla amongst other types of movies. So a director that's kind of leaning more towards this and would make more sense. But honestly my expectations are so low with this just with the fact that they're rushing production so quickly the title jurassic city like nothing really screams exciting when it comes to this but honestly the trailer can come out and i could be completely wrong but you see the name of this called jurassic city what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section down below would you be excited about this what are your speculation and thoughts in terms of like what this movie could be about okay now for the next news story we kind of got a small update when it comes to the knuckles show the knuckles tv series now, i've been following sonic movie updates over on twitter who's been like mentioning and like keeping up to date with the sonic movie news and knuckles TV series here and he actually found this where it says here that every Knuckles episode is going to be an hour long according to the website. This means the show will be a six hour long in total and they actually got it from shout out to Sonza underscore Ed for finding this but if you see that they've highlighted here approximately length one hour zero minutes which if that is the case and I really hope that it is this could be a really great show like I've been really excited in terms of like the Sonic franchise and like what they're throwing out there with Sonic 2, Sonic 1, the Knuckles series now and then even like Sonic the Hedgehog 3 which is my most anticipated movie. This is going to be a six hour event and you can pack so much in there. From the trailer it looks like the episodes may have just been running around 30 to 40 minutes but having it about an hour long every single episode I'm um, all for that. That just gets my excitement level even more higher when it comes to this. So this has a potential to be one of the best shows of the year with everything that they've shown so far with what the potential they could be with the budget they've also shown when it comes to like the series looking absolutely fantastic. So you see this and you hear this. The episodes are going to be one hour long, six hours, 
for the TV series. What are your thoughts are about it? Does this get you more excited? Are you a little bit worried? What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. For the next news story, we've got some even more exciting news here when it comes to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem sequel, so TMNT2, we've got an update when it comes to the release date here. So coming from the variety, confirming here that Naked Gun Remix set for 2025 by Paramount, TMNT and Paw Patrol sequels dates for 2026. So they do talk about other different projects, including a Naked Gun reboot with Lee Liam Neeson in there so that's something to really look forward to and Paw Patrol 3 for those little boys and girls that are fascinated with the story arc that's going on with Paw Patrol there's going to be a third movie there so you can keep an eye out on that one but the most important part here is the follow-up to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem from director Jeff Rowe and producer Point Grey Pictures will be hitting theaters in October 9th 2026. I cannot tell you the excitement level I have for this because they have made an excellent TMNT movie with The Mutant Mayhem. If you haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend. It's definitely in my top 10 movie of the year. And with this one coming out in October 9th, 2026, a really strange month for it to be coming out in October. But honestly, I'm not at all fussed. I'm so glad about that because we have so many things when it comes to like the TMNT franchise. So you had the TMNT Mutant Mayhem. We're getting a series when it comes to it. So it's taking place in between the first movie and the second movie. And we're even getting a TMNT game. So, so much stuff if you're a TMNT fan here, just like I am over here with these guys. I'm really, really excited. Like I feel like they're gonna be focusing more on like the teenage aspects of them as characters because right now I feel like they're in their 13, 14 age, I believe. So most likely they might be slightly older and especially with them going into, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie, but them now in school, in high school, I think them going most likely going their separate ways because of like the different personalities they have. And then of course we know that after the end of the movie, the teaser with Shredder coming back, hopefully he's like a big threat, not like this joke that they had in the Michael Bay movies, but he is actually a big threatening character. So that's going to be a really interesting decision and choice how they're going to handle that. So I, again, I'm really, really excited about this. Such a great time to be a TMNT fan, great time to be a Sonic fan. So, so many good things to look forward to. So you see this and you hear this, the October 9th, 2026. What are your thoughts are about the release date? How excited are you? Let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, now for the next news story, we've got a little bit of an update when it comes to like the Sony side of things here, when it comes to Spider-Man. Again, coming from Daniel RPK, a reliable scooper in my personal opinion here. So you can take this with a grain of salt but he is actually confirming here that a spider-man villains animated movie is reportedly in development here now this could be their sinister six a sony sinister six movie that they've been wanting but due to like the whole flop that is with the live action with morbius madam webb and the other movies that they are going to be trying to release with venom and craven the hunter they were planning on building this big sinister six movie they've been wanting to do that since andrew garfield's spider-man movies but i believe because of the success with across the spider-verse into the spider-verse and beyond the spider-verse the success they're going to have with that i feel like they're most likely turning that sinister six live action movie into an animated movie that's just my personal opinion i could be wrong it could be a different animated movie with the villains side of things here but it just honestly makes more sense like honestly the sony spider-man without spider-man spin-off universe whatever the hell they're calling that shit show just write it off just wipe your hands clean with that finish venom 3 finish craven the hunter and just just put those movies in a vault lock it don't look back and just focus on the animated stuff because that's the thing that they're doing good with so maybe that they are going to be doing this and blending it into like across the spider-verse and into the spider-verse like that sort of side of things there i do feel like that may, would make more sense with an animated movie because you're doing all these villains and these villains just make more sense fighting spider-man not bloody having their own movies and these movies just not working whatsoever so animated form i feel like just makes more sense but who knows it could be something completely different they could still be going for the live action sinister six which i hope to god is not the case but that's just my personal opinion but it looks like we are getting a villains animated movie that is coming very very soon so you see this and you hear this what are your thoughts do you think it is that live action sinister six turn into an animated movie or do you think it's completely separate things what kind of villain would you prefer to see as well please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below but for the final news story we have got here is confirmation of the logo with superman so on thursday it was superman's birthday so happy birthday to him 
James Gunn actually came out and revealed the Superman symbol here. So, so he posted this saying, Overjoyed to be announcing the start of the principal photography on Superman today, February 29th, which just so happens to be coincidentally an unplanned Superman's birthday. When I finished the first draft of the script, I called the film Superman Legacy. By the time I locked the final draft, it was clear the title was Superman, making our way over to you July 2025. So not only did he show the symbol, the Superman symbol here, which I'll talk about in a second, but they just confirmed that the movie is no longer called Superman Legacy it looks like it's just called Superman which honestly I'm happy with that name change I do like the title Superman Legacy but I feel like this one just calling it Superman just makes more sense here with the logo too I honestly love the look of this logo I love the vibrancy I love the color of it my only weird thing is with the yellow going outside of like the red there but honestly it could be completely different you do see a little bit of snow as well or like some ice over it so most likely this is with him being in the fortress of solitude but i'm really enjoying this there's some ai footage some fake photos going around online of david cornsweet in the superman suit so if you do see that it's completely bs completely made up so that's not actually his suit but this is the symbol this is the logo here now the only real question is how is it going to look like in live action how is it going to look like with either trunks or no trunks in my personal opinion i would prefer trunks and i know it's just maybe outdated or it just doesn't look natural anymore but i think it could work i think it would look a lot better because of the symbol as superman there that's just the iconic suit for me personally growing up with superman i've always seen him with that red underwear on and he's an alien so he doesn't really have to blend in with the human race fashion so it, it could work but so far i'm liking what i'm seeing I'm really really excited to be checking this one out and what they're going to be doing with it here so the cast are posting a lot of like pictures and videos behind the scenes kind of stuff about the production of Superman Legacy, sorry, Superman. That's gonna get some use to here. So again, if you're not aware, so you've got David Conswear as Superman, you've got Linkless Holt as Lex Luthor, Isabel Merced as Hawk Girl, Sarah Sampia as Eve Tessmarker, you've got Skylar Grisondo, apologies if I butcher that name, he's gonna be playing Jimmy Olsen, you've got Eddie Gatia as Mr. Terrific, Maria Gabriela de Fara as the engineer, Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane, Nathan Fillion as Guy Gardner, Anthony Carragon as Metamorpho, and, and Terence Rosemore as Otis Grave. The full cast says so expect some videos, expect some behind the scenes pictures, that kind of stuff there, as production gets underway, but really, really exciting time, so much to look forward to. Okay, so I'm actually in the middle of editing this video, editing this section, where we actually got confirmation of who's going to be playing Perry White. So as you can see here, confirming that Wendell Pierce has now been cast as Perry White. So another addition to the Superman, like, sorry, Superman cast, Superman movie, we've got Wendell Pierce playing Perry White. So I think this is a fantastic casting choice. This is a really great casting choice. Honestly, this movie is so star-studded, so stacked. Definitely getting more and more excited with what James Gunn is cooking. So I'll get you back to the original video. So you see the, the new title of the movie. You see the logo and the symbol. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that about wraps it up for the weekly entertainment news video. So again, quite a few things to go over here. I want to know your thoughts on everything down in the comment section below. And again, if you are new to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button. But I thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Keep an eye out on the channel because we are going to be doing a review for the Imaginary Movie movie that's coming out next week along with like a tier ranking for all the kung fu panda movies plus so much more coming out especially the other chicken nugget series for the month of march definitely keep an eye out for the review for that one but again thank you so much for watching thank you so much for listening this is yk reviews peace